Can I guess that is? Your Honor. Okay. Good morning, uh, everybody. Thank you very much for coming to this district uh, administrative center uh, process of getting to know what the future of the district administrative center will be for the near future. Now, uh, as you may be aware, the district administrative center is the body that supports the four colleges, that is the Lenny College, Mary College, College of Alameda, and Berkeley City College. What we are essentially doing today is to be able to present to you some ideas as to what the tentative interim five-year uh, program will look like and what the 15-year program will look like. We are gonna be soliciting your input. As a matter of fact, this is the second town hall meeting for the district administrative center. At the first meeting, the end user had opportunity to be able to contribute and make input as to what the future should be for the campus. Now, this phase is to be able to let you know what the architect WLC and uh, Mars has come up with in terms of both the interim uh, uh, areas and, and the occupancy for the district and what the long-term process is going to be. Uh, we are going to be giving you opportunity to be able to contribute, ask the relevant questions as it's going to impact your department or as it's going to help to support the whole colleges. So again, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I'm going to have WLC and Mark Miles uh, take this up from here. Michael? Well, thanks. I've, I've kind of met everyone here, um, or at least passed by them in the hallways. Um, as you know, um, the WLC was, um, was uh, secured or, or um, retained to do the master plan process for the all of Peralta Community College District, and that includes the, the district administrative complex. Um, that process dealt with uh, assessment, analysis, and then coming up with an, ultimately with the facilities master plan. And basically what that really means is going around uh, observing, looking at the systems, having engineers and uh, specialists, um, IT specialists and the like, go through all the buildings, to all the campuses and confirm what the existing conditions were. Uh, there was limited testing and, and some of these storm and, and uh, drainage systems. We brought that information back, we analyzed it, uh, looked at some of the opportunities that uh, that you can do with the existing systems and what you might want to do to enhance it or to remove and replace. From that, we developed some, a set of conclusions and some opportunities. And those opportunities are what we're going to look at today as, as um, potential uh, recommendations. Um, as a part of that process, we actually had a town hall meeting. At the town hall meeting, we heard from uh, the district administrative staff as to what, were, what their issues are and um, what they felt were really important items. Um, some of those was alle alleviating overcrowding and providing spatial needs. Um, they complained a little bit about the departments are kind of spread out, so if you have to do something in one department, you have to go outside, uh, go around, go in another building, uh, just to do what, what they call routine sort of administrative operations. Um, they also indicated that for the parking for your private vehicles, uh, there are some security issues. I mean, anybody can just kind of walk on and, and there's your cars. Um, also, there's the, shall we say, the vehicular um, circulation through the properties is kind of, you know, kind of catch, catch all because basically you come in, you come in off Fifth Street, uh, you come behind the maintenance um, places, uh, you're gonna come in and around and, and it's just kind of very circuitous. Um, not very um, thought out in that regard, just kind of happening. So with all of that said, um, we looked at the, at the conditions and we heard the, the various concerns, specifically where it relates to the, the building we're, we're sitting in. Uh, we call this a district administrative um, complex building. And as you know, um, you're really crowded here. You're kind of working on top of each other a little bit. Um, there's a lot of space though, however, but you have to be redesigned and restructured. Um, so with that in mind, and with the ideas of perhaps uh, working with the maintenance and the operations department, they have some issues there where it relates to storage and um, things sort of uh, working together. 
Um, we came up, um, this is existing buildings now. This is your district administrative complex. The admissions and record building at the corner, otherwise known as the Conroy building. Uh, the physical plant office, uh, where uh, we'll say the uh, construction management and project management and uh, the center's operations occur. And then you have your warehouses in the, at the rear where you do the sheds and the mechanical equipment and the like are kept there. So that's pretty much how you're, you're spread out on the existing campus. Um, your greenery is, is somewhat uh, limited to the, uh, to the estuary, which is beautiful. Um, but you also have this uh, perimeter that's uh, sort of noisy and, and abuts a lot of uh, high traffic areas. Um, these are showing two schemes. We'll get to that later. But these are major transportation uh, points, as, as it were, onto these two areas. Uh, we, we broke this into three phases. Uh, the first phase would be, what do we do now to alleviate the problems here? And um, one of the biggest things we thought of was that, well, if we can kind of expand on what you're doing right now, at least in the short term, that's probably the most cost-effective way to, to move forward. And then later, we could uh, um, get involved with some long-term sort of solutions. So one of those ideas was to, one, build a new building behind the ex a new Butler building, steel warehouse Butler building frame, right behind the, the existing one. And then we were thinking, okay, well, that, what that'll do is that'll free up some warehouse space in, in the physical plant building. Uh, along with that, we thought, well, this, there's still the, the issue of overcrowding in the DAC building. That's building five there on the screen. So we said, well, let's, let's build a new, um, a new building uh, we'll call it, let's call it a prefabricated building. It'll be two stories, about roughly around 18,000 square feet. And what we could do there is we could begin to move uh, administrative functions into that building. Uh, what this does is it allows building two and five together to become the public, um, the public administrative office area. In other words, uh, you'll have students, you'll have um, visitors, you'll have um, dignitaries who come to Peralta to do, to do their work, um, that, those kinds of functions would happen in that complex. And building three, you would have the facilities operations, the uh, architectural and, and engineering uh, work, and so forth. And the IT department, which is um, centralized now and, and expanding, um, and I understand that they're, they're looking to expand even further, you now could possibly look at that being uh, further expanded uh, since we're going to move the, or the idea now is to move the uh, maintenance, or excuse me, the warehouse areas into a new separate building. So the idea now is, is now that you have the new building two and the new building one, we can start to look at how are we going to move the administrative office. Now that's your call actually, but listening to what you've said, um, we're thinking maybe the educational services would go in building two along with admissions and records, but go in building two, which frees up um, building five to be, uh, have some uh, interior remodeling to allow more space. Also, we're thinking to take the police services out of the back of building five and, and put that into the um, admissions and records building or the old Conroy building at the, four, at the um, area at the corner, which kind of makes sense since they can get out to the sites as they need to. Um, so now what you have is you have the DAC building which is not in the greatest condition, but you know, we all know we have to utilize it for the next couple of years. So now we can take that and do some interior remodeling and make that a bit more workable for, for um, um, the administrative functions. Um, and as, as I said before, uh, the, the numer num number three, the numerical number three, would be the area that was vacated by the warehouse areas. We're thinking to take that area and, and remodel it allow for more IT and further administrative functions as, as needed. And uh, lest we forget, we need to still do something with the shed, warehouse shed area back there, which is really not functioning all that great. We would like to modernize that and make that a bit more usable so we don't have quite the, the strewn de de uh, debris. 